Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today's day number 200. We made it 200 days after having gastric bypass surgery and I'm really glad that you guys are here right now. Um, I just want to make a really quick video over 200 days past the surgery. I did a 100 days, now today is the 200 days. And we have 165 days left and then that'll make one year. Isn't that cool? In about two, two weeks, we're gonna have our seven month anniversary. It really came so fast. Um, let's see, the first 100 days were pretty rough, I would say. A lot of recovery and a lot of, um, how can I put it? A lot of, I told you so, a lot of, you should have known better, a lot of, um, what have you done, a lot of, this is your fault you're here, so get over it, a lot of, put your big girl draws on and let's just get it going. A lot of trial and error too when it comes to food and figuring out what my stomach can tolerate just because you have a list from the surgeon of what you can and can't eat doesn't mean your stomach's gonna like it everybody's different um, recovering time was horrible it really was but it does get better over time and yeah the more you walk the easier it is but man when you are fat and you just got gutted the last thing you want to do is get up and walk because the fatter you are the more gravity works against you baby that's just how it is um but let's just go on to 200 so the last 100 days let's see let's just say last three months and a week let's go back in time that's like the end of february something like that um it got easier i still wasn't able to eat for like the first half of it or so um even though i was still not feeling so well i knew i had to eventually get some kind of food in so i didn't like malnutrition and starve to death and pass out while i'm driving or something it was very hard for a while but then um it got easier i got a phone call hold on eventually i was able to figure out what i could eat but at the same time i made my own little strategy within the last 100 days and that's every time I get stomach hungry and not bored upset stressed out hungry um I would go and drink a bunch of water or just drink on a protein shake for a while and if I'm still hungry I'll have like a bite or two and I did that because I want to keep my stomach small security they found me I want to keep my stomach small and I want to also you know make sure I'm hydrated so hey it was like a two-in-one and then most of the time I was not hungry after drinking water or a protein shake. And I'd say, okay, well, I don't want anything else. I'm fine. Um, let's see what else happened. Um, I was eventually, like within the last couple weeks, have been able to actually eat normal food again and not throw up. I don't throw up anymore. I haven't thrown up in so long. It's not even funny. I just now realized that it's been like over a month. Maybe even two. That's how long it's been. Um... There's still stuff that makes my stomach hurt and makes me think, oh, what did I just have? But um, I do it just to kind of see what I can and can't tolerate, I guess. But if I'm able to tolerate something, I put very strict limits on it and say, okay, you had this much, this much is left, but it don't mean you have to have it right now. Put it away and wait till you're hungry in a day or two or however long it takes. It's fine. You don't need it if your stomach doesn't want it. It's fine. You're eating because you're bored. You're eating because you're unhappy. You're eating because you're stressed out, not because you're actually hungry. And I've come to realize in the last 100 days that um, I used to, now I knew it, but I just ignored it because of, you know, issues. But I've come to the realization like, hey, I use food incorrectly all my life. And from the outside look in, you're probably thinking, duh. You know, but when you live your whole life, you know, you know, being depressed and anxious all the time, stressed out, and people are giving you crap, no matter where you're at, school, work, uh, regular school, uh, church, wherever you were, and everything else in between, I mean, you needed something to go to that made you feel better. Mine was food. Some people use adult films, some people drink, some smoke, some use drugs, some people shop what or hoard, whatever it is. Everybody has something that they use, and if they say they don't, well, they're liars because everybody's stressed out at least once in their life, right? Um, 
And because of that, I have figured out that there are a lot of different things I could do. And I've been doing that. And that's why I've lost now 93 pounds, you know, in six and a half months. I did hit a major plateau all through May and like the last week of June. I mean, the last week of April. But it's getting better. Uh, I know it's starting to jump up again. And also within the last 100 days, I've been spending a lot more time outside, which is something that fat people do not like. And why is that, guys? Well, let's go and do the recap. You're fat. Okay? You're fat, and you already sweat enough as it is. You can sweat in the wintertime because you're fat. You take that and you go outside and simply sit in the sun, you're adding more heat to yourself. You're doing yard work, you're running around with kids, you're having a barbecue, you're hanging out with people outside, you're sweating even more, and then your body hurts because of that, you know, and you just start to feel really uncomfortable, and then you start to sweat, and then people notice it, and some people might be rude and think to themselves, ew, you look gross, and then you feel gross about yourself because you're sweating around the folds. Come on, be honest. You're sweating under the bra. And with fat people or thick people that have to go outside in the heat or they work somewhere that's really hot all day and you wear a bra or whatever it is, you get heat rashes between your butt cheeks, under the folds, under your bra lines, under your arms. It happens. Fat people don't like being in the heat. Let's just be honest. You know. But it's gotten to where I can tolerate it and I am actually starting to enjoy it and it's really nice. So uh, yeah. It's getting better. That's what's been going on in the last 100 days. Which now, which was 101 to 200 days. So that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys later. And if you're online, I'll see you there. And if not, well, I'm going to punch you right in the face. I'm just kidding. Bye.